Be sure to check out Dilly Silverado, The Crunk Formula, on iTunes now. What's up, everybody? This is Dilly T2K of DillyLT2K.com. And what we're going to talk about today on this tutorial is how to get a good tone for your top box using the Motif ES6. A lot of people talk about to me that you have to have a DX100 to get a tone or you have to get a certain synthesizer to get a certain tone. And part of that is true if you want to have the same sound Zap had or or the top boxes, you can go ahead and get that if you want to. But if you don't have access to that, or if you're like me, and you have a Motif ES6, I'm going to show you a way to get a good top box tone uh, from this keyboard synthesizer here. Now, I know that the Motif and the Motif XS run on similar infrastructures as far as how they work. But what I'm going to talk about is how to make a tone from this. But first, we got to create a, a synth patch from scratch on here so let's go ahead and get into that as you can see I'm on the preset user 2 and uh, as you can hear a little junk on there so what I'm going to do is I'm, gonna, I'm going to initialize this patch right here on user 2 so I'm going to hit job then I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to hit yes okay so now what we have is a basic Initialized voice. Now the sound you are hearing is from is from um, the top box. So what we gotta do is uh, get rid of some of the verb. And a good way to get rid there's two ways to get rid of the verb. You could go either go to the bar labeled effects, which is right here. My keyboard's kind of scratched up, but you can go there and hit bypass system effects, and now you don't you don't hear effects there. Or you can go to your knobs and turn down the reverb there in that category. But for quick purposes right now, we'll hit the bypass system effects. Because we don't need them because we just need a simple tone. So here we are. And what you're hearing is a, is a, a stock piano song, stock piano sound from the Motif ES. And what we're going to do is going to edit this patch to give us our top box tone. Okay. So what we do is we hit edit. And then hit the number one on the Motif. So now what we have here is uh, the wavetable library, if you will, that comes with your Motif ES. And uh, what I like to use is a certain uh, synth patch. And so what I'm going to do is show you what patch that is right here. What I like to use for a good tone, I've been, I've been going through a lot of waves that came with the Motif. I've been going through a lot of files with the Motif and, and I found that 587, which is a, a, a saw wave, uh, waveform that comes with your motif is a good one to go to. So let me just go ahead and try and get to that real quick. 587. So let's listen to what that sounds like. Now you can experiment and try different things, but the one I like is the one on one saw. And here's how it sounds just from scratch. So when I talk box with it, you'll get a talk box tone. I'll say talk box tone with the talk box. Talk box tone. And uh, what I like to do is, is to get rid of some of the decay. So what I'll go is to hit the button F4 for amplitude, and then and then what I'll do is go to the envelope uh, amplitude envelope graph, if you will. I'll hit SF3, and here we have options here that will kind of change how it works. But right now I'm going after a tone for the tall box, and I like a quick de releasing sound when I do top box on my motif. So I'll scroll down here to this and uh, change the release to maybe one and how it's really attacking now. So that's just the basic right there. So if we hit oscillator we come back to this menu and so what you got is a nice little nice little dog box tone dog box tone but one of the things that you might notice is the issue of you can get chords off of that. You don't want a you don't want a monophonic preset when you're doing talk box. Um, it just I don't like to do it when I do it. So I'm just talking about how I like to do things. But if I go to if I hit the drum kit's favorites button, which also takes you to the general settings of that patch that we have just been creating, um, you can go to play mode, which is SF2, and then change your mono 
change your mono poly mode to mono. Poly means you can play more than one note at a time. Mono means you're going to play one note at a time. One note at a time is more of the sound that you hear when you hear the top box or when you hear me do top box. I just like I like to have it set to a monotone. So see, I can't I can't hit. You only get one tone at a time. So now when I hit the when I use the top box, I can go like this. Yeah 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 yeah, oh, baby 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 yeah. See, I can't hit chords with it because it's set to mono mode. So, that pretty much sets it up right there. Um, so, if we go back to general and name, you can set it up and name it. You probably already know how to do all that. Uh, but then you want to hit store and then enter. And yes, and now it should be saved into your... Uh, Instituted. it. Now, if you don't want it to say initialize voice, all you got to do is hit edit and then go to your, your and then move your cursor with the arrow buttons to the name. Hit list and we can make it say talk box right now by holding the information button and rotating the scroll the scroll wheel. I can make it say talk box like this. We'll say talk voice just to make it short. Store, enter, yes. Executing it's saving it. Now we got it. Yeah, yeah. Now, here's some effects that you can do with that. Um, say you want to have an octave top box tone on here. I'll go into that real briefly. All you got to do is add another, I like to say, oscillator uh, to the top box patch. And you can mix it with other things. What, I, what I'm going to do is just real basic to show you what you can do with the Motif ES6 about that. So I'll hit edit. And then I'll hit the number one, and this is where we're at. This is our oscillator or element. In a Motif ES6 uh, patch, there are four elements to each patch that you use on the Motif ES6. Uh, I believe on the excess there's eight. So I'm on element one. So what I want to do is hit the number two on the right hand side. Boom! Now I'm on number two. Notice that it says element switch off. I turn that on. Now we have something with the piano basic thing again, like this. We don't want that. We want wave. 85, 587, I believe. So you can scroll like that, or you can hit job, copy, user, top box to common. Maybe you want element one to element two. I hit enter. Boom. Now when we come back to edit, we see that both edit one, element one, and element two are the same thing. That's a quick way to do that, to copy one patch over. Now we can have a little bit of fun with it. And so what I'm going to do is show you how to kind of create a little off-pitch thing uh, to give you a little coarse effect or octave tone. So let's do the off-pitch first. So I, I'll hit F F2 and then um, oh, we got this too. So what I can do is, is turn to fine and you'll hear what happens to the tone. See how I detuned it a little bit with the fine tuning? But if I bring it back to zero, it's the same thing. But now I can go up here and go 12 high. And that's pretty much an octave in the digital realm, if you will. So now I got this octave tone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Or I can go down 12 and have something like this. Yeah. Oops, too far. I went to 13. Notice how that sounds. But I'll go to 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Or maybe I can fool around and do some things with it. So you see there's all kinds of different things you can do inside the Motif infrastructure. To create a similar patch, if not better for what your tastes are, on the Motif ES6, you do not have to have a certain synth to do it. It's good to have that. I'm not going to front. I would like a DX100 myself because everybody else is getting one. Um, but if you don't have access to that, uh, this is um, and you have a Motif, even on a Mo6, um, pretty much all the Yamaha keyboards that are out right now um, have this kind of same main structure, so you might be able to kind of find your way around it similarly to this if you're using a different Yamaha keyboard uh, than the Motif ES6. So that's that's pretty much it. So that is the top box tutorial of today. 
If you'd like to have any questions or comments about it, uh, please visit my website and go into the forum under the top box category and hit your comments up there. And, um, you know, hopefully I can ha help answer some questions there. That's the best place to do it. If you want to reach me, hit me up on the forums at dilliot2k.com. All right, guys, you take care.